the case for energy management systems. I think we all know that we should all be using the energy we have more wisely. Quite simply, it protects our future and helps us keep costs down. And the ISO 50001 standard provides us with a formal framework that can assist us with that objective. But what is a management system? A management system is your organization's book of best energy practice. With the ISO 50001, the focus is obviously on energy, and ideally it would be integrated with any other standards and system you also hold. And whilst these days it's usually made available to staff electronically, some companies still like to hold a hard copy. All organisations have processes, and each of those processes will, to a greater or lesser extent, use energy. The general business as usual processes or activities might start with a receipt of inquiry, pass through the production of delivery of the products or service provided and finish with the sending of the invoice and getting paid. All of these processes use energy of some description. Obviously different business will use different energy streams but most organisations are likely to use energy for vehicles, vans and trucks, even ships and planes electricity for heating and lighting, and gas for heating. Depending on what you do, there may also be other forms of energy consumption. Once you've established your energy sources, you will need to establish corresponding data, which needs to be analysed in order to establish what services, equipment and processes are using the most energy, and therefore potentially where most of the opportunity to improve lies. The next stage is to create your baseline data, outlining your current usage for the different energy sources you employ. The next stage is to set targets in order to reduce the amount of energy consumed. The areas you target for improvement are likely to be different for different companies but might include improved insulation, more fuel efficient vehicle fleet, efficient lighting and heating systems, and more efficient equipment. Obviously these things won't happen overnight but managed properly they will see your costs come down. So how do you get there? Write down what you do, your best energy management practice, justify what you do, do what is written and record what you have done. But a robust management system requires a little bit more. You need to review what you have done to see if you can do better, if energy efficiency can be improved. Revise the book of best practice to hold any gains. Once you are ready, there are a number of well-known certification agencies each of whom undertake a whole raft of management system certification work, including the ISO 50001. These agencies include BSI, NQA, DNV, LRQA and many others. Getting assessed is a two-stage process. The document or system review, a check to see that the systems cover the elements of the standard, and the operational review, to check that the energy management practices are working as your system suggests. These stages are typically six to eight weeks apart and inevitably there are usually some issues to address, but the most usual outcome is recommended for the registration, which means that there are minor things to be fixed before the certificate is awarded. You then get to celebrate the registration and all the hard work that has been undertaken, not forgetting that one assessment some time ago, one assessor remarks, the 100 yard dash is over, let the marathon begin. Status can be viewed as your driving instructor. We will assist you all the way up to and pass your driving test with any UCAS approved driving examiner. At Status we can help. We can be viewed as your driving instructor. We work with you to develop simple user friendly systems. We use your terminology and language and we make the standard fit your business. Let Statius help you realise the benefits of a robust management system. Have a look at our website on www.statius.co.uk or call us on 020 8460 3345. We'd love to have a chat.